this is very much a YouTube made me buy it a situation and um, I'm a bit torn over this one. <laughs> Firstly, oh my god, I love the box. <gasps> Give me anything that's slightly opalescent or rainbow, you know, holographic. Oof, love it. The actual perfume. And this is super interesting for a number of reasons. So firstly, I entirely agree with what everyone says about this. This is a very fresh, very clean, excellent laundry scent. Proper, crisp laundry scent. This is um, what people call a white t-shirt scent. Absolutely. I've sprayed it in the box, so I'm just going to have a quick sniff. Yeah, so this is flowery. Um, but also very crisp, clean, definitely smells like, I mean, it actually smells like detergent, but like not in a harsh way, in a soft way. It smells like detergent after you've washed clothes and it's, it's quite cool. So it smells like when you've taken the clothes out of the, um, washing machine and they're still wet and you can smell your detergent on them. That's what this smells like. So the only thing I, I can't work out with this is whether I'm going to be able to actually wear it because there's been some development since I filmed my White Musk uh, video. So as, as you might remember if you've seen it, um, I like the Alyssa Ashley White Musk, which is kind of sweet, really gentle. That's my kind of, oh, this is a, you know, fresh out of the shower, nice skin scent smell. Sparkling white diamonds is much stronger. It's much more present. Other people around you will be able to smell it. Again, it's still a great skin scent because it's definitely just gonna smell like um, detergent. It, you're just gonna smell really clean and nice. People will probably say something about you smelling nice, but they might not know it's perfume. Um, and lots of people have reviewed this on YouTube and some people have actually said that people have asked, you know, what shampoo or what detergent to use or whatever. Um, so if you remember, I didn't like the Jovan White Mask, so that's this guy here. Jovan White Mask, I found a bit too animalic, and Sparkling White Diamonds, maybe at first is a bit animalic, but I think it's very, very clean. I think it smells a bit cleaner than the Jovan White Mask, but everyone likes this one. And I, I can see some similarities here, but I think this is what I expected this to smell like. Um, but this one's a bit sweeter and not as clean smelling, not as cold or crisp smelling as this. But I think in my brain, I thought this one would smell the way that this one actually does. So in my personal opinion, I think this is much better than this. Um, if you want a clean, fresh scent, um, this one is stronger and lasts longer but I think it's cleaner. I think it's considerably cleaner. However, they definitely have a similar vibe. This one's sweeter. It's more, it's more vanilla -y than this one. Although that does still have a bit of sweetness, but it definitely has that real, really soapy vibe to it. Really kind of clean laundry soap smell. Um, but what I realized, <laughs> although this doesn't have gardenia in it, I now recognise that the smell I'm getting most from this in terms of the floors is gardenia because of this. Um, so I tried this gardenia and it's very buttery. And as it turns out, if this is what gardenia smells like, I don't really like gardenia. So um, I didn't really know what gardenia smelled like. This was just a blind buy that went a bit wrong. Um, this is just just to show you this is what the bottle looks like very sort of basic bottle um but i'm increasingly realizing that generally the only jovan that i really really love is the original jovan for women uh jovan musk uh this is incredibly buttery yeah i mean it, it's i mean I've, I've heard that this is a little bit chemically, but apparently still quite gardenia-ish. Gardenia um, and it's so buttery. I mean, actually butter, like fully butter. Um, so I'm not keen on it at all. And I can smell that in here, but it's obviously much more subtle because there's so much else going on with it. 
and I swear I can smell it in here. There isn't gardenia, I don't think, listed for the Jovan white musk, but it's definitely, yeah, it's got that floral buttery smell, which is what I, I don't really like very much about, apart even ignoring the anim animalic bit, which obviously doesn't last forever. The buttery, gardenia -y kind of smell that I'm getting from this one is what I don't like about this one compared to the Alyssa Ashley. And it has it in this, but because this is so crisp, let's have another sniff. Yeah, because this one has so much kind of laundry soap smell about it as well, it, it isn't as cloying and kind of sickly as I find this one. So yeah, I mean, this one I think is one that I'm probably gonna, I might just do a bundle of like more skin scenty things and put them on eBay. Cause I, do, I don't think I'm ever going to use this, this Jovan one ever again. I have used it a couple of times, but now I've got Alyssa Ashley, I don't feel like I need it. But particularly now I've got this one, I might try wearing this. Um, and see how I get on with it. Because I think that this one, and I think, how much was this? I think I got this for 8 99 I think this one actually was from eBay. And this is, I mean, I can't even read what it says on the thing because it's got some stuff over it. So this is just 30 mil, so I didn't get a massive one. But you can, I mean, you can get the 100 mil bottles of these for like a tenner. Um, so actually, probably even better value than what currently the Jovan White Musk is selling for. And this is definitely a White Musk smell. This is musky. Um, it definitely is. Yeah, but it's so much crisper, so much colder. I think sparkling White Diamonds is right because I think it is cold and sparkly, icy smelling. But it definitely, definitely has a laundry soap smell. Um, it's not soapy like a bar soap, not at all. This is very much clean laundry uh, soap. Um, so this is another one you can definitely get away with in pretty much any circumstances. So I did wear it, um, but I think I already had another perfume on and it was probably a bit late in the day. I think I need to try this again. Um, yeah, and just see how I feel and if I can get over the fact that I now recognise that there's a buttery gardenia in here that might be throwing it off for me a little bit if uh, and making it a little tiny bit sickly on me. But I'm quite excited to just continue trying this, but I am going to keep it in the box just in case it has to go to a new home. Um, but I think for other people, um, this is actually the most detergenty the most clean, fresh, damp laundry smell um, that I smell of, of any of any perfumes. It's, um, yeah, it's pretty impressive in that respect. I think if, if someone now said like a crisp white t-shirt smell, this is what I would think of. This is exactly, like I said, this is exactly what I thought Jovan was going to be having watched all of the people talking about Jovan, everyone was talking about how it's like a white t-shirt smell. And I think that's, I don't know, I don't think that smells anywhere near as clean and crisp as this does. And for me, a white, that's exactly what a white t-shirt is. Clean, crisp, fresh. And um, I think that's exactly what this is. So I, I've seen lots of people recommending this and I absolutely agree. I think this is a really impressively clean, soapy perfume. Yeah. And it's an absolute bargain, so yeah, that's a good one.